the strength to win. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis officially entered the Republican race for the presidential nomination of his party. In an unconventional manner, the 44-year-old Republican governor announced his candidacy in an online audio-only conversation with Twitter's CEO, Elon Musk. Though during the announcement, Twitter spaces crashed, and accessing the conversation was almost impossible. Some say this launch strategy is an attempt to frame himself as the anti-establishment candidate, leaving behind the conventions of traditional presidential races. Protesters marched through downtown Miami, where the Florida governor was at the moment of his announcement. The announcement drew attacks from two rivals, Democrats and Trump supporters. Horacio Lopez is a Miami-Dade teacher. The way he talks about teachers, the way that he paints us as if we're like the enemy, when teachers are basically just trying to do their job is a mischaracterization entirely. Um, overall, I don't like his, his politics in general. And of course, today he's announcing his presidency. I think it's a great time to come out and present against them. Sarah Parker organized the anti desantis protest. We do not want to see him at the White House. And he has used our bodies as stepping stools, bloodied and alive, to get to this position. And we want to take him down and make sure that he is never the president. I would rather Trump. Why? Because Trump, DeSantis is a fascist, and I mean, Trump's a mini fascist. And I just, I'd rather, I feel like he's dangerous. DeSantis is completely dangerous. Ron DeSantis runs a distant second from former President Donald Trump for the nomination of the Republican Party, according to recent polls. The former president is leading him by double digits, remaining the clear front runner and the dominant figure of the Republican Party. Governor DeSantis is at his time. He's doing a lot of good things for, uh, for the state of Florida, a lot more to go. He cannot, he doesn't uh, resonate with the people as much. Trump can understand middle America. He's a worker, he built his businesses. The Florida governor has tried to use the state as a pitch to the nation on how truly conservative he is. During his term in office, he's passed laws making it easier to own guns, to restrict sex and gender identity education in schools, and to limit abortions. DeSantis joined a crowded Republican field to decide whether the party will move on from Trump in 2024 as they fight to take the White House from President Joe Biden. As of now, DeSantis is considered the closest challenger to Mr. Trump. Mitza Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.